so we're live we're just gonna go ahead and do that because it just wants to go live and I'm not gonna fight it I'm just gonna go ahead and say we're gonna do a painting pour on top of a vase I should have wrote that down but I didn't oh well oh right on right on right on okay so here we go we're gonna and so some of you wanted to do a gift for your mother these make really really great gifts you probably get one of these right under your kitchen sink or in the bathroom sink it's just a glass vase a simple little glass vase and you can get them at the store or um you probably have somebody who gave you one with flowers in it well we're going to do a painting pour right on top of it and we're going to use different colors than we used before so we're going to put this little cup right here i'm going to take this whole cup i'm going to fill it with paint and then i'm going to dump it on top of that glass vase and that should be a lot of fun and it's really fun to see what it's going to do uh, because you never really know what it's going to do it's just going to spill out all over there and the colors are going to merge and have a good time and we're going to see so we're going to use um i thought i wanted to use red a base of red to get a nice vibrant color in there now you'll notice that I mixed the red with Floetrol. So it's 50% paint and 50% Floetrol. And Floetrol is something you can get right at the hardware store. I have a big jug of it. That's what the cover looks like. But um, you can get smaller jugs of it. But you can also use Elmer's glue to uh, Fantastic. You want me to do you are there a particular class that you want to see? Well, I don't know off the top of my head. I, my girlfriend, uh, her and I went to a class there a lot of um, years ago and she said she was going to be in the fall. Anyway, it was the boat. Oh, know, right, right. She loved that and she wanted to do it. Oh, good thing I do have some new classes and I'm thinking you can kind of scroll through and see if anything actually with some interest because you kind of have to look at that on your side the timing mm -hmm. so this is a fun one with spring flowers this is another one while it's springtime this one's i think the in a couple of weeks yeah so that we'll be starting on may 15th okay okay yeah. i'll let her know and yeah look at your website and look forward and to seeing you guys and come down and hang out now mm -hmm. you still have the daily one on one as well kind of i do i do yeah for people who want to just learn something different or go in a different direction or they're just not they're not seeing that shift that they want to uh -huh. see uh -huh. um, or they're not seeing one of the keys of perspective the classes that's all we talk about is perspective and it's really really helpful because once you start understanding that then you can start playing with the paint more all the while knowing that it gets off is one of those things uh -huh. that has been overlooked or just completely left out and the minute you add it back it's like oh that looks really good that looks like it went from certain level to all of a sudden that, that's marketable that's really really nice and that's um i'm not going to lie to you though it does take a certain amount of time to get comfortable mm -hmm. that's why the more you do it the faster um you will be able to shift into that that looks really really great you know you do that in acrylics or oils i actually do it in acrylics only because oils have such a long drying time right. but the process for me in oils is exactly the same um and it always goes back to what looks really good looks off is one of those two. So what looks good to my eye? What looks new? I go, yeah, I could have a cup of coffee with that too. You know? <laughs> well, and I will say it's kind of, you know, sort of a little bit with perspective here and there. You know what? 
we all have. We all have, me included especially, um, and that's why I came up with this system. Actually, little kids came up with it. I mean, they, they voice their opinions so easily that you pick up on they're not getting this, not getting this, and it becomes to be easy because you want to have the fun. Yeah. You don't want to have that fun. <laughs> so how are you? I'm good. It's been really good. Doing a lot of live classes, a lot of painting myself. This time of year, I usually try and catch up on painting, which is what I'm supposed to be doing, but I'm working on it. <laughs> anyway. Well, sounds good. Yeah, yeah, it's all good. It's all good. It's all color. There you go. Color makes you happy. It's great. With all the, yeah. the tulips that are out and about, there's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> well, thank you. You guys have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for stopping in. I look forward to seeing you in the next class. Okay, you have a great day. Okie dokie. We're totally back. Okay, you're just going to have to deal with it. Now that we nobody's under quarantine, people are walking in and hanging out, and that's okay. That's okay. Um, so what we're back to is the red. We did some red. We're going to fill up this little tiny cup. I mixed it with Floetrol, and we're going to use blue. Now, this is a really, really sort of a cartoony blue. So with that red, it'll warm it up a lot and look really, really pretty. And then we're also gonna use some gold and a little bit. See how I'm running these colors in front of you so you can see? They have to drip because they have to drip down that glass. And then I'm also gonna use some white. And then what I'm gonna do is Go ahead and start putting those colors right in this little cup. Oh, those have a lot of chunks in it. That's not good. Well, that's all right. And then we'll just put this blue in there. I think you can see that. A little bit of blue and a little bit of red. The red is so pretty. And then some of that gold. I might save some of the gold for afterwards and run it over the top. I'm gonna to show you what the other pieces look like that we did the other day so that you can see them a few days later after they've dripped, adding a little more white, adding a little more blue. Oh yeah, we're filling that baby up. And then some red, a little more red. Oh yes, yeah. see those chunks in there? We don't want chunks, but we're not gonna worry too much about it because that is all movable. Now I'm gonna take this and dump it you can kind of see the colors are in there i'm not going to mix them too much oh no we lost a drop i'm going to move this out of the way and pull this over so it's a really good vision and then i'm going to take it and dump it there we go we have dumped we have dumpage all over hey Rhonda, how's it going <laughs> Yay! Well, now there's another chance for you to see the painting pour in action. You got to see the colors that we use. You got to see the actual dumping. Now, last time I just dumped it over there and left it. Right now, I'm actually leaving it on there. And I'm gonna show you while it's dumping out of the cup and pouring over the, um, the glass vase, I'm gonna show you the ones that we did before a couple days ago. This is what they turned out like. Now, I don't know that you can see that too well. I'm gonna turn this extra light on. It might be too much of a glare, I'm not sure, but you can kind of see the detail in there. All of that beautiful color. Look at that gold. Doesn't that look like, oh, hey, it came from Tiffany's. My mom is gonna love it. And here's the other one. There's one of them. Another one, look at that. It has all that detail in there. It just rolls around. Okay, this one had a few smidges on it because I actually oversprayed it. So when you're done with this, you're going to want to spray it with a thin coat of acrylic um, enamel. It's like a water base and you just do one quick coat right over it, all the way around it. If you spray too much, you'll get these heavy drips and that's what happened to those. I just, um, I just pulled them off. But you can see how beautiful that is. Okay, so back to our actual pour for right now. Turn this light off so that it's not glaring and I'm gonna move this up just a little bit so you can see with that light. Okay, we're gonna take that cup off and boom, there is the rest of it. Now, I'm gonna take that cup and put it in my tub of water. It's super handy to have a tub of water around that way. You can just reuse your stuff, which is super helpful. Okay, now I'm gonna just turn it around a little bit so you can kind of see, look what it's doing all on its own. I'm gonna turn that light on to see if you can see it any better. I don't know if that's helping or not. 
but you can kind of see it's gone over the whole thing. Wow, that looks so cool. Okay, one of those chunks, there it is. I can see it, it's stripping. I'm gonna blow on that and get it off of there. I don't want those chunks on there because that's what will happen. Is remember that I just showed you on that other vase. If you get any chunks on there, you wanna get them off. Otherwise you end up having these little holes right there because you wanna flick them off. Okay, we could, we could not, but they're better to get off. Okay, so, and then look at that. I don't have to do anything that looks so pretty. Okay, however, we are having an issue over here. We did not get enough paint on this side. So we need to either pick some up with a spoon and move it around there or blow it into existence. And, oh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm actually just gonna take some more of this blue and dump it down right there and see what that does. Oh, wow, that looks great. Okay, too much. Whatever, let's do, dump some of the white, just a teeny tiny bit, because they're all the same colors, and see what happens. And then we're gonna pick them up because, I don't wanna mess with that too much because it's so pretty. Now, we're gonna blow them a little bit so that they start to mix on there instead of in the cup. Now look at that, doesn't that look cool? That is the effect of the Floetrol. The Floetrol itself actually makes, uh, it makes its own cells. You can add extra oil to the paint if you want. However, oil on water is not such a groovy thing because it doesn't stick so well and so it doesn't help the paint stick so well. And you really do want the paint to stick well. So I don't add any oil to the paint and a lot of people you'll see things online um, but not with the glass whoa doesn't that look super cool now that's gonna dry it's gonna drip out a little bit I can notice that I had this one white blob it's like oh, oh my gosh it looks good but that's a little much okay what is this the 60s okay grab your straw let's blow on it a little bit I blew on the top to just release some of that white from gripping on. Blow a little bit more so it'll start to drag down over that. But because I don't want to end up with a big drip in the paint, I'm going to help it flow all the way down by blowing on it. Once again, let's just stop. Look at the spoon. Even the spoon, spoon looks rocking. Hey, I'm awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, I'm gonna add some of that awesomeness right on there. That's what we're supposed to be doing, but we got sidetracked. Okay, there we go. Now we add some more, and I'm gonna blow on it to get a nice flow going. Now we still had some of that gold. Remember how the gold we put on these other ones and they look like, oh no, they look like they're from Saks Fifth Avenue. Oh yeah. Okay, so what we're gonna do is take that super gold, which gives it that little bit of bling but not too much we don't want it too gaudy okay so just a teeny tiny bit here and there and you're gonna let it drip I'm letting it drip down here and there and I'm gonna add some to the other side into this really pretty red it looks super pretty but I also want to add a little tiny bit of bling little bling never looked bad and actually as you can see in here it starts to drip out and look really really pretty it sort of takes it to the next level okay now let's look at it closely because we don't want the big oh no blob we want it to mix in with it so we're going to blow on it again from the top down now you don't have to do any of this you could actually just pour the paint on there and let it drip down I mean, and it will look so advanced, your mom will be like, bro, this looks, or baby, this looks so good. You're an expert, get the job. All of those good things. But I decided to add this extra gold, as you can see, just for extra bling and fun. You can add the gold right to the paint if you don't want to do this. But you still want that extra shiny look, that extra like knock out, knock your socks off. And I'm gonna blow on this just to get a little bit more blend. And I'm gonna leave it. Okay, there we go. Doesn't that look super spectacular and wonderful and auspicious? And we'll see what it looks like once it starts to dry. I'm gonna push it back so you can see it again one more time. 
There you go. That's an easy to do present for anyone and it turns out really different and beautiful every single time you do it and different every single time you do it. Did I say that? Yeah. Doesn't that look good? Okay. So here's our favorite side because it has a little bit of everything, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Rhonda. All right, Rhonda. It was so good to talk to you. I love you, sweetie. I will see you soon. All of you have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching and enjoy yourselves, especially making this super cool gift for your mom. Okay. Love you. Bye.